Hello guys, good evening. Welcome to my channel. So today I am here with a new recruitment notification uh, from uh, Central Government PSU again. So before this I had released one more recruitment notification from another Central Government PSU called HPCL that is um, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited. And now I am here with one more recruitment notification from uh, National Water Development Agency as you can see on the screen. Okay, so Community Centre Saket, New Delhi. Advertisement number 12, 2022. So National Water Development Agency is an autonomous organization under the aegis of the uh, Department of Water Resources, uh, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation Ministry of Jal Shakti. Government of India invites online application from Indian citizens for the following posts in for its headquarters and various other field offices. I know the total number of vacancies are less but still uh, there will be students who will be waiting for these kind of vacancies also and uh, they will crack these examination and uh, get uh, get their job okay so i will speak about all the posts and the type of educational qualification that is required for these kind of posts okay so the first one is junior engineer civil so level 6 so the payment will be 35,400 will be basic and it will reach up to 60,000 don't worry and there are two posts for that and junior accountant there is just one post and the level is 29,200 and this will reach up to 40 to 45,000 and upper divisional clerk UDC so level 4 uh, 25,500 is the basic pay and it will reach up to 40,000 and stenographer and upper divisional clerk will be having the same level so that is uh, level 4 from 25,000 25,500 to 81,100 and the age limit is common for all the posts that is 18 to 27 years so that means that uh, these kind of posts doesn't require any experience so, so if you just have the eligible criteria that is educational qualifications and other qualification then you are surely eligible to apply for these kind of jobs okay so before proceeding if you like the video uh, please like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so they have mentioned that the vacancies are tentative in nature and may decrease or increase as per the requirement so there is no question of a decrease because already the number of posts are very less so it can it can be increased or remain same so the first one is junior engineer so here diploma in civil engineering are equivalent or equivalent uh, from a recognized university or equivalent so desirable is degree in civil engineering or equivalent from a recognized university so please uh, remember this desirable is degree so essential is diploma you need to compulsorily have diploma in civil engineering and then if you have done uh, uh, engineering uh, in uh, uh, civil then you are also eligible so you will be given uh, extra preference so uh, for example if a student has completed civil engineering in diploma and then he has written the CET for engineering and has uh, completed the civil engineering then uh, he will be having more chances here okay and for junior accountant essential qualification is degree in commerce uh, from a recognized university so desirable is three years experience in cash and accounts in a government office PSU autonomous body statutory body or reputed uh, private organization so the thing is if you have a degree in commerce field like BCom so if you have done BCom also you are eligible to apply for this job but uh, all other students are not eligible for this post but for the next two posts all the degree students are eligible so I will speak about all those things first let us uh, clear this thing so for the junior engineer diploma and for junior accountant if you have done degree in commerce and the desirable is if three years of experience so if you don't have experience also then no, no worries you can still apply for this job and upper divisional clerk uh, essential is degree from a recognized university and uh, uh, desirable is knowledge of computer uh, operating system ms word office excel powerpoint internet so for the upper divisional clerk you need to have any degree so any degree student any graduate can apply for this job so this is first job where any degree students can apply and the desirable thing is uh, knowledge of computer operating so everyone will be knowing this uh, like operating computer ms word ppt excel etc so if you don't know also you can still um, learn them from youtube or anything else and for stenographer 12th student 12th class uh, student can also apply here so uh, this for the stenographer uh, both the degree and the 12th pass students can apply but for the upper divisional clerk you need to be a graduate so these are the minimum essential educational qualification that has been mentioned okay now let us uh, look into the other uh, details that has been provided so important date is uh, commencement of the online registration of website is 23rd that is from tomorrow from tomorrow uh, the application starts from so that you can apply and the last date of submission of online application is 23rd of may so you'll be ha having uh, one month of um, uh, one month of time to apply for this job okay 
and the examination will be notified later so the examination date has not been provided so till then you, you can uh, keep practicing okay so application fee is um, a bit high i know uh, that is 840 rupees for general and obc category and 500 rupees for sc st ews and women category is payable through uh, payment gateway so the application is quite high as compared to the number of posts that has been released by this uh, organization but still we, we can't do anything uh, if we want to attend the exam we need to pay them so uh, application fee of 840 for a general and obc and 500 for ews SCST and women okay age relaxation will be provided as per the central government norms so for SCST it is 5 for obc it is 3 and ex servicemen 3 and uh, government employees 5 years okay so these are the uh, different age relaxation that has been provided and now the uh, selection criteria so the selection criteria will be made on cbt for all posts so the first stage is cbt of 2 hours 120 minutes 100 questions so second stage in the case of uar and obc candidates will be shortlisted by 50 times the vacancy while 100 times of the vacancy for sc and st so there is discrimination here so for UR and OBC, 50 times the vacancy. So, if one uh, position is there, 50 students will be called. Whereas, as for SCST, 100, uh, 100 times the vacancy. If one is there, 100 will be called. Shortlisted candidate will be invited for document verification. If the candidate fails to appear for the document verification on the specific date and time, it will be presumed that the candidate is not interested and therefore it will be rejected. Okay. Thereafter, candidates for all the posts will appear for a CVT 50 questions, 60 minutes again. Rank position will be prepared based on the score secured by the candidate in the second stage computer CBT. So, so the first stage of CBT will just be for filtering and after that a second stage of CBT will be done where you will be selected. For the post of scenographer grade candidates will be appeared for the skill test which is qualifying nature and 7% mistake will be allowed in the skill test for all the result candidates. So if uh, you need to type 100 words then you need to be accurate with 93 words. Okay, if there are seven mistakes also, you are uh, you will be selected. Okay, and it is only qualifying in nature. So please understand this. There will be two examination. First examination is like prelims only for filtering, and then one is to fifty will be called for UR and OBC, and one is to hundred will be called for SC and ST, and you will be having a mains examination uh, where you need to take uh, the exam, and based upon that marks, you will be a rank will be given. Okay, for stenographer, seven percent of mistakes will be allowed and how to apply all the details has been provided and the website has also been provided so these are the general instructions and the complete details of the uh, different post that has been released okay so i guess i have explained you all the things so uh, what i'll do is i'll uh, pin the website link in the description box from there you can get access directly towards the website okay these were the complete details guys if you like the video please like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel that's all for today thank you